Hello everybody, GameCrazy here, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon and World Randomizer Nuzluck. In the last episode, we made it up to here and I said, well, I will do a battle rival, but I have no idea how many Pokemon she has. She has three. So anyways, you can see my party here, I got Kitty, Weirdo, and Super Help here. So let's go on. Uh, if I remember right, there's a trainer over this way, so I kinda gotta mill gear my way past him. Just because I'd rather take him on with my full party. So I can have options as to who to level up. Weezy, I don't want to fight you. You who you self-destruct. Yes, I found that out. Uh, nearly lost uh, Supa there. One HP left. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, so I just took the having... Uh, Toaster with me because he's immune to normal type moves like uh, self destruct and explosion. So the wheezing would just faint and I'd get experience. And I'd be like, ha, ah, nothing. So, anyways, May, she leads off with a lombre. Swift swim ability, uh, level 18, you knows nature power, growl, astonish, and absorb. I'm going to start with the focus energy and then poison sting, same as I always do for Kite. God, I can't wait for Twin Needle. Yeah, okay, come on. Poison Proc or Critical Hit? Either one would be nice. Uh, Nature Power turns into a mo different move depending on where you're fighting. Uh, with where we're fighting right now, it becomes Swift. Okay, come on. Thank you. One more poison stain. <laughs> I got a critical hit rate. I up my critical hit rate. And nothing still. I mean, there's a lot of experience for Kid, eh? Next up is Slugma. There, I'm gonna say, let's go, weirdo. Uh, I was thinking for a bit about bringing Ceiling, but I really don't want to risk losing him. Uh, also, don't want to risk losing Weirdo as well, but uh, when it comes down to it for the next gym, I have to have Ceiling. No way about it. Weirdo is a little bit. Weirdo is losable. Oh boy, this one. Uh, hopefully, you just go for a bide. I was going to try and lure your defenses down. Who's my last guy? I brought in... Supa. I'm just going to try... Actually, I'm just going to try and fight this with Weirdo. Yes, bye. Perfect. I'm just going to lure your defenses down during your entire bide. Okay, now you should unleash the energy and I can just do something like Rage or Scratch. Rage. What? I lowered his defenses that much and still nothing? The heck is up here? Is Rage count as special or something? No, I don't want to use another item. Weird again. I'll rear you again. Okay, your defense won't go lower. Six damage. Scratch. Thank you. I was thinking about using Super there, but I was like, um, I don't know. The Marsh Tom's kind of annoying with that whole slow down thing, and only my luck could be like, slow down and be pretty big damage with that ground type move. If I would have had a grass type, that would have been so much easier, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find one. 
Try not harder next time. Uh, yeah, it is pretty silly coming from you. I uh, guess I'll just use Super to get back, uh, so... Be right back after getting my party back together. Hopefully I don't run into that trainer. If I do, I'm gonna have to show you that battle with just Supa. So, BRB. Okay, run him back, and I said, you know what, let's do the Trickmaster House. We're being watched. Anyways, where we see the little glint, go check it. Ha! Grr! How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. Behold! Well, I'm the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Hoenn. They call me the Trickmaster. Wahaha! Glad to meet you. You've come to join my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. My god, this guy is weird. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, let's go in. So, okay, this challenge... Yeah, this is the cut one. You need cut for this, so... Make sure you come here with it. If you don't have cut when you come here, you can't really do anything. You just kind of have to back out. I almost went in here, and then I was like, Oh, yeah, I need... I need Espeon with Supa with me. This was a horrible choice. Uh, me, me, my new Proton John. Don't kill him. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Confusion, Proton John. Uh, he was asked everyone in the chat about uh, Pokemon that normally evolve through trading and uh, how they'd feel about that. About me using a cheat code if I can find one to make uh, them evolve without a trade. So, uh, Proton John is going to evolve in this LP. I'm planning on like level 30 ish. Somewhere in there. So, anyways, let's slowly go through all this. This is probably going to be all that happens this episode, aside from the rival battle. Later, if I, uh... Maybe that, or maybe I'll just hyperspeed through this, but the problem with that is I have no idea how long it'll take. Plus, I have no idea if what I use can even hyperspeed. Same way as these little paper, toilet paper roll things, I mean, that's pretty much what they look like to me. You have to find them in order to exit this place. Just who is it a trick master? I don't know, he's just some weird guy who spins around in circles and then teleports away. Skitty, that's that's way more dealable with for ceiling. Magnitude eight. I've been getting some good magnitude rolls. Shroomish. Of course, you gotta use a Pokemon that I have to switch for, pretty much. Switch for or take super effective damage. Four times super effective damage. And Leech Seed. Worst. Worst that could have been done. Man, because this only goes for like a percentage of your health. Which actually makes it possible for uh, Pokemon with. Uh, Low level Pokemon that know this move, if you use False Swipe on them, it actually makes it possible for them to go from 1 HP to full HP in an instant, if they Leech Seed a high level Pokemon. That was pretty fun. Uh, do I dare risk it? I could Confusion, and it has a good chance of killing it, because Proton John has like 50 special. Massive. But at the same time, I think Lucky could use a level one. He probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, we'll go with Lucky. We'll definitely go with Lucky. I know that was delayed. I'd already switched into him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's see. Proton John's a little hurt, but he's still fine. Yeah, you found the scroll. Memorize the secret code. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's the way you gotta go. But I'm gonna get this item 
which is probably just a male. Oh, and I need to remember, um, before you leave, um, wherever we, wherever see we're just in, or town, whatever it is, uh, make sure you buy a harbor mail. Uh, that will be, that will come into play for something later. Once we get to the next city. So anyways, let's just cut this. I don't know what this kid has, but please don't start off with the grass type. I went into this weird house by accident. Well, I feel sorry for you, especially considering you made it all the way here. Possibly without having cut. I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, you probably haven't. Magnitude ceiling. Magnitude 9. Oh my god. Ceiling the hacks, master. Lucky ceiling always gets paralysis hack, par paralysis hacks and doesn't get confusion hacks. Mine always seems to get high high magnitudes. Ah, guess I'm gonna have to slap some mud in his face. Ah, so close to level. Anyways, cut this tree. And we're finally out of here. Gamer down the secret code in the door. Trickmaster is fabulous. The door lock clicked open. What's up, Trickmaster? How's it going? Ack, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant all those trees. You're almost equal to my greatness, and... By one, two, three, four, five, six places. Fine, you've earned this reward. Rare candy. Uh, I'm gonna see who I want to use that on later. Actually, I probably won't even use it right now. I'll wait until I get up to higher levels, because right now it feels like a waste. I'm, I'm at pre low levels. I might use it when someone's a level away from evolving, or I might just save it for when we're pretty high leveled. Because right now leveling up isn't too big of a pain, especially with the random Pokemon giving nice experience. Anyways, I'm gonna hyperspeed my way down to Slateport. Uh, because, like I said, we want to get into Mart. And we want to buy one Harbor Mail. And while we're at it, actually, no, we're not gonna buy Super Potions. We will buy a few Great Balls, so. Uh, just five will do. And Pokeballs, we got, we're good. We're good there. Okay, um. I'm gonna cut, go buy some super potions, and then meet you back up uh, by that other trainer. And I'll probably just battle him and then call that an episode.